type of dual identity began to emerge. And there's two of us within our own life, just two of us, only one of us, do we talk it? Frida and Greta are identical twins. They dress alike, talk in unison, and even try to walk in step. They insist on doing everything together and must be able to see each other at all times. If separated, even for a moment, they become hysterical. The twins now live in the East London borough of Hackney. They are unable to work, that is, they are unable to hold separate jobs. In the mornings, they go to a local hospital for occupational therapy. They spend their afternoons at home, or on outings to the local parks and shops. They came to London when Jack Davenport, a retired engineer, invited the twins to share his house after reading their story in a newspaper. Jack wrote to you, and then you wrote back to him. And we'd like to go. Yes. Uh, they come out in the wash. 
for cleaning teeth, and then like that. They both stand there and clean their teeth for exactly the same time. The same day, same to the press and do exactly the same thing. And it's uh, nothing that you tell them to do or something that they want to do, it's just something that they do do. They both take up the fork at the same time and the knife at the same time. They eat fish and chips, and you'll see that they both pick up a chip together. And when they have uh, a meal, they're not content till they've both got identical the same amount of food on their plate, the same amount of tea in their cup. And mine is theirs, not uh, individually. They have two black coats, but one came with green buttons and the other with black. The twins swapped two buttons from each coat, so that both coats had two green and two black buttons. Everything must be identical, even down to the smallest of details. When the telephone rings, both twins insist on speaking. One will talk, then pass the phone to the other, who will then repeat the conversation. Frieda and Greta seem to be trapped in one mind. If given cakes of soap, each will cut theirs in two and swap a half. When given pairs of non-matching gloves, they simply exchange one glove each. Here we are. Do you ever wear each other's dress? Okay. No, would you? Is that your brain dress? That's your green dress, or you swap them around? No, we just hang on both up. We don't bother. You don't bother? Um, no, we just hang on both up. And then if you put one on, you just take the first green yeah, dress. Yeah, I was going to ask you, do you have, do you have a, a special way of um, communicating, talking? When you when you look at each other, do you know what the other one's going to say? Yeah. Some, sometimes, yeah. I mean, what about your thoughts? Do you think you're thinking? 